Assalamu alaikum, dear teacher and my dear friends. I'm Minaza. I'm Aisha. I'm Fazlat. And I'm Amania. Today, we are here to present a presentation in volleyball. Do you know that the volleyball is the national game of Sri Lanka? Yes, and it is compulsory to play volleyball in the schools in Sri Lanka. Minaza, do you know the captain of the Sri Lanka volleyball team? Yes, I know. Can you share it with us? Okay. Sri Lanka's men volleyball team captain is Shahan Lakshida Bandara, and the women's team captain is an Ayaka woman, Jaitunga WAC. Now, let's see that how many players are there in volleyball. Yes, there are 12 players, and one or two are nominated as liberal players. I mean, there is so. There are six main skills in volleyball, is that right? Yes, they are namely serving, receiving, setting, spiking, blocking, and defending. Yes, when considering serving, serving is sending the ball to the opposite side from the serving area in order to start the game. Mm, and serving is decided too, right? Yes, there are underarm service and all arm serving. Now let's see about receiving. Receiving the ball by the opposite team is simply defined as receiving. Yeah, and they are divided into two. They are underarm receiving and overarm receiving. Mm, setting. Setting is also called as volley pass. Yes, when playing volleyball, the ball should be set for spiking, right? Well, it passed. You mean setting is divided into three. They are before touching the ball, touching the ball, after touching the ball. We have learned these yeah. skills yes. in previous grades. Students, you have to move your now, slides. Now, let's see about spiking. Minaza, mm -hmm. you go ahead. Okay, Aisha. Yeah, spiking can be simply defined as hitting the ball. Spiking can be described in several stages. Let's see about the stages. They are approach, take off, hitting the ball, and landing. Fuzzlet, now you we'll start to explain. Okay. Approach is defined as reaching the part court where the ball is up in the air in order to hit the ball. Aisha? Now, let's see about spiking. Minaza, you go ahead. Yes, when starting to take off, first the knees are bent and the body is learned downwards, moving the two hands backwards as the body moves downwards helps make a take off. The body should the body should be bent backwards like a bow and the two Two hands be brought upwards from from the front of the body. <laughs> Amani, go ahead. Minaza, now we explain the method of hitting the ball. Okay, I'll start. The hitting hand should brought back over the head and the ball should be hit at the body it brought forwards very fast. The hitting hand should be well straightened and should hit at the highest possible level when hitting the ball. The free hand should be held freely at the level of the head in front of the body. The eye should be focused on the ball. And the last stage of spiking is landing. Fazla, you go ahead. Okay. After hitting the ball, the player should land on the ground. Maintaining the balance of the body is simply known as landing. Yeah, and here is the steps of spiking. Next, let's see the factors that should be taken into considering when spiking. You start, Aisha. The ball should not be caught or thrown when spiking. Should not hit the ball. While the ball is in the opponent, the ball should and on the opposite side of the court. From front player can hit in it at their own position. Front row cannot hit the ball that is served 
at the top level of the net. The ball can be hit at any height from the back row player. A back row player may hit the ball from the front zone on any occasion. A liberal player cannot hit the ball that is above the top level of the net. Any players in the same side can hit the ball that is lifted by the winner. Yeah. <clears throat> Now let's see about blocking. Obstructing the ball coming from the opposite side when it is above the net by a front row player before it enters their side, this is known as blocking. Am I right, Fazl? Yes, and there are several techniques of blocking. They are preparation, approaching the ball, taking off the ball and touching the ball and landing. This time is for you, Aisha. You explain it. Okay, puzzle. First of all, preparation. Stands facing the net with legs, shoulders, width apart, keeping the body in a balance for the net. Next, approaching the ball, anticipate the place where the ball is going to land at the ground, taking off and touching the ball. Bend the hands at the elbows, raise them and position them on either side of the head. Spread the fingers and hold with your palm facing towards the net and the money. Now let's talk about landing. Landing should be done on the balls of the feet. After landing, the two hands should be brought down. Body balance should be main, maintained by bending the knees. So here is the steps of the blocking yeah to finish the top in blocking let's see some factors about blocking blocker shouldn't hit the ball when it is in the opponent's side before the opponent hit the ball the blocker's hand shouldn't place over the top level of the net before the ball is spiked by the opponent blocking cannot be done by a back row player or a liberal player first let yes now let's see a video about volleyball rules Can you hear the sound? No. <laughs> Wait, I see I can. Now can you hear? No. Just screen win, screen went puzzled. Sorry, a small problem in microphone. Uh, it will be correct right now. Teacher, someone mute me. Yeah, who is that girl? Uh, Fazlat, uh, now you share. Teacher, I see one again. Just one second. On each side of the net. Now, can you hear? The height of the net is 2.43 meters Fazlet, for men. Let's start from the first. 2.24 meters for women. In this video, you will learn the basic volleyball rules. Volleyball is played on a rectangular field of 18 by 9 meters, surrounded by an unobstructed area. It is divided in two by a net and has a front zone of 3 meters width on each side of the net. The height of the net is 2.43 meters for men. 
and 2.24 meters for women. Two antennae, or rods, are attached to the net above the sidelines. The rods pass 80 centimeters vertically up from the sidelines and mark the boundaries for where the ball can be played. To play, two teams of six players rally the ball to each other over the net between the rods. The ball can touch the net during its passage. The teams play three sets against one another, up to 25 points. In the case of a fifth set, it is played up to 15 points. A winning team needs at least two clear points to win a set. A team scores a point in two instances, when the ball hits the ground on the opponent's side of the court, or when a team is unable to return the ball or commits a foul. To learn more, watch our video on the basic fouls. Each game begins with a serve hit with the hand. The team which receives the ball is entitled to three touches with the ball before sending it back. All parts of the body can be used. A single player does not have the right to touch the ball twice in a row. If the team which served wins the point, they keep the same server. If the receiving team wins the point, it wins the serve and its players rotate clockwise. To learn more, watch our video titled Knowing the Zones, Positions and Roles. Okay, guys, now I think you all get a knowledge about the world ball rules. Naza? Naza, you go ahead. Sure. Now, let's do something interesting. We have some general knowledge questions and answer in world ball. Let's move on. Azlet, you go ahead. Yeah. General knowledge questions with answer in robot. When you know the answer, you can unmute your microphone and answer us. Let's move. How many players are there in volleyball? Anyone? Six Do you know players. the answer? Six How many players. players are in volleyball? Six players. No, no, you are wrong. The answer is 12. Because uh, there are main six players, right? Six players. But uh, one or two are nominated as the reservers. Consider that the total number of players will be 12. Yeah, next question, yeah. Fazlet. What happened? Aisha, yeah, Aisha go ahead. ahead. Yeah, Aisha. Aisha, Which you have to touch the ball. ball. Oh, yeah. Every time your team has the ball. Okay, the question is which player should touch the ball every time when your team has the ball? So, anyone do you know the answer? Libero. So, yeah, you're correct. The answer is Libero. Libero can touch the ball when the, your team has the ball. Yeah, next question, please. Who invented volleyball to Sri Lanka? Yeah, the question is, who invented volleyball to Sri Lanka? Anyone? R R R w yeah, yeah, you're correct. The answer is correct. It's R W Kamak. <laughs> uh, R W Kamak, the director of physical education at Colombo YMCA. So here is the logo of Sri Lanka Volleyball Federation. Yeah, move as left. Amani, go ahead. 
which country was the first to win three consecutive gold medals in women's volleyball yeah the question is which country was the first to win three consecutive gold medals in women's volleyball so anyone do you know the answer china china no you are wrong no the answer is cuba cuba was the first country to win three consecutive gold medals in women's volleyball yeah the next question Who is the most famous volleyball player? Okay, do you know the answer? Who is the most famous volleyball player in the world? So, everyone are silent. Think that you don't know the answer. So the answer is Kach Kirali. Kach Kirali is the most famous volleyball player in the world. Here's a picture of him. So yeah, the next question. Who invented volleyball? Okay, do you know the answer? Who invented volleyball? G. Morgan. William uh, Morgan. Yeah, you are correct. Uh, the full name is William G. Morgan. Yeah, William G. Morgan uh, invented volleyball. Yeah, the next question. Here is a picture of him. Yeah. Allah. I shall yeah, go. Which particular team had such great players as Karish Watch, Preston Folk, and Logan Tom? Yeah, the question is which cricket team had such great players as Kerry Wash, Preston Fox, and Logan Tongue? So, anyone you know the answer? China. No, you are wrong. It's not China. The answer is Stanford. It's uh, Stanford had the great players like Kerry Wash, Preston Fox, and Logan Tongue. So, here's the team of the Stanford women's volleyball team. Yeah, the next question, Fazlat. In 2003, beat standard Curry protest decided to return from the game. Where is the where is she from? Yeah, the question is in 2003, beat standard Curry protest decided to retire from the game. Where is she from? So, anyone do you know the answer? Okay, everyone are silent. So I think that you don't know the answer. The answer is Australia. In 2003, uh, Kerry Pothes decided to retire from the game. So here's a picture of her. Yeah, Fazlik. Next. Yeah, Fazlik, go on. What's the name? What is the name of the international organization that governs volleyball? Okay, the question is, what is the name of the international organization that governs volleyball? International so, Federation. No, no, the answer is wrong. Anyone? Anyone else? No, the answer is FIVB. FIVB is the international organization that governs volleyball. Official volleyball rules. Yeah, next question. Can you make it hurry, students? Because others okay. are waiting. What was the original name of the volleyball? Yeah, anyone do you know the answer? What was Mintonic. the original name? Yeah, you're correct. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. It's Mintanit. Mintanit is the original name of volleyball. Okay. When was volleyball, volleyball created? Yeah, do you know the answer? When was volleyball created? 1895. Yeah, you're correct. In 1895, volleyball was created. At that time, the name of the volleyball was Mintoni. And here is the picture of playing volleyball many years ago. Yeah. 
Thanks. Yeah, this is the last question. In which way do the team rotate? Okay, do you know the answer? In which way do the teams rotate? The answer of this question was in the video. When you hear, you can tell this answer. Okay, anyone do you know? Okay, the answer is clockwise. The teams rotate at clockwise. When they rotate at clockwise, they will be able to play the game easily. So, Thank you so much, teacher, Thank for this opportunity. For we are very happy that we have shared our knowledge with our friends. Yes. And thank you guys for listening us and you have answered for some of our questions. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you so much.